Hello, welcome back to 3D Drawing for Model Railway. In today's episode, I'm going to start working on this, this other end of the PUM that we were looking at. I'm going to start adding this tank on here. I'm assuming this is the hydraulic tank. Um, obviously, there's lots of pipes hanging around here and the controls for all the hydraulic ones at the end here. So I'm assuming, as I say, this is some sort of reservoir for that. Um, before we get started on that, though, we're going to add in the floor plate here, which looking at some of the photos, that plate pretty much covers most of this half. I think there might be holes underneath it, but it's going to be so difficult to see that it'll be just easy enough to just cover it up completely. Um, and then we'll start adding, as I say, that the I-beams here on both ends and then the, the tank on the top. Okay, so jumping into Fusion, as I say, I'm going to put a plate on here. Um, now looking at the photos, I would say it sits on top of this I-beam. So I'm just going to create a, a sketch on here. Um, do we want to go round? No. Just think we'll go round these. Yes, we do need to. Okay, so let's project on. Let's project on the whole of that surface, the innermost beam there, because I'm drawing on this front one. back into that. Okay, then I'm going to start with a rectangle tool and start lined up there. Nine point six millimeters by five point six millimeters. And then I'm just going to draw these boxes as well. And I'll just draw some, some smaller rectangles just to fill these in. So all I'm doing now is just filling in all of these gaps here and then I can select off all of these profile parts. holding shift down while I do this so I can get all of the parts and the square there. And then I'm going to extrude this. I'm going to come up, in fact I'm going to go two-sided or symmetrical in fact. I'm going to come up by 0.25. Tell that to be a join. I'm not too much of this kind of through here. So let's take that down to 0.2. That'll be fine because it's not, not cutting through underneath now. Essentially, I've done that symmetrical, so it's come up on the top slightly. And it's below on the bottom. So this is now joined in back. Let's edit that feature. Let's do that. Two sided, we've gone down by 0.2. I'm just going to come up by 0.15 just so that we've got a separate panel and it's not joined into the I beam there. Have a quick look at that. I might need to collect that part as well. So I'm just going to select in that profile as well there. No, I don't. So it's just this last one on here, and then all the rest of them. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is get this I beam here. And I'm going to draw that on the inside surface of this little module here. So slice through. We've already got the rectangle projected on there. I'm going to draw a rectangle in the middle. Don't want to do that. No. I'm just going to draw like this. So. A little rectangle there. And the distance from the edge to the 
inside so I can 0 0.15 might change that in a minute to 0 0.2 I'll have a look on what's going on and the height of it is going to go because we've got the beam and it's slightly lower than that I'm going to put that as 0.5 Yeah, I'm going to go with that actually. And I'm going to put a rectangle on the top to represent this cross beam here, which is going to be longer than that. So, so I've selected the midpoint here, I'm showing off the midpoint. And I'm not point four wide. the same the other direction. Four wide and not one quite high. And then select this. These profiles here. And then I'm going to extrude that. Just going to Initially do that so it can drag out a little bit and give it the feature and work out that this is going to go, I don't know what this would be, two foot. So if we come four mils, let's see if any other photo is, it might show how wide it is. wide because that's the midpoint. Okay, I'm actually going to come down yeah I'm going to come to three millimeters and I'm going to add another mid plane in which is going to be between that outside profile these little lugs here and the same on that side and then we can mirror that extrusion of the feature across that new plane so we've got that on both sides there turn that new plane off there and that will So that represents the same beam on the inside there. Okay, so the next thing is we're going to put the box on the top or the tank on the top. So to do that, we're going to draw, let's get this original. Um, we're going to draw on that top surface. And again, just using the rectangle tool. We're going to go from corner to corner, I think. Yeah. And before we draw that, we can project on that corner. So that's the outside corner of the eye beam we've just drawn so that we can snap to the corners like that. Select those profiles and then we can extrude that. So the height of this tank above these and about halfway up this triangle piece we drew on the side here. I'm going to go for about 4.7 millimeters high. So join. Okay, and then that's got a lid on the top, which is slightly bigger. So we'll just again draw on that top surface. We'll use the offset tool. And we'll go, let's go for 0.3 millimeters. Thickness of this, it's not particularly thick, so again, we won't do it this 
Eva. Maybe come up 0.25. I think maybe that might be a little bit too big an offset, so we can go back into that sketch. I'm just going to reduce that down to 0.2. Next thing we've got with side glass on the side here. So again, this is just a simple rectangle, probably in two pieces because the black bit looks like it's slightly smaller than the, the yellow part. So on this front surface, just like that, draw a rectangle. Use some constraints. So we're going to put the we use the midpoint constraint. So if we select the top blue line of the, the rectangle we've drawn, and then the blue the blue line of the lid here, that will snap that to the midpoint, so whatever size we now make this, it will automatically snap to it. And then we can dimension that for the width. Let's go for 0.3. Be wide enough. That's going to be 0.4, I think. Okay, height-wise. Moment. I'm going to bring that down to maybe two millimeters, and then I'm going to extrude that. I'm only going to come out 0.1 on that, and then I'm going to do another sketch on the front surface of that. Use the offset tool. We'll bring that inside. So do minus 0.1. With that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to add in are these two pieces on top. This is filler cap, and this is, I think, this is the return. I would assume the return um, unit for the tank. So let's draw a sketch on the top surface. Let's do the filler cap first. I'm just going to do a circle in the sort of front corner. Looking at the pictures, it does look like it's in the front front corner here. We'll go for 0.6 in diameter initially, and we'll dimension from the front edge 0.65, and side edge, we'll go for the same. Extrude it up maybe 0.2, and then you can just draw a circle, you can offset it if you want. Going to a circle or maybe not 0.5, just slightly smaller, and then we'll extrude that up. I'm going to actually reduce this one down slightly. Of that error, so I say round that down. I'm going to come down maybe 0.1 just to give it a curve of top surface. 
actually you might reduce that down to 0 0.4 Make it a little bit smaller there. Box at the back. I'm not going to go super detailed with it because again it's tiny. It's not really going to be that noticeable. But I'm going to go to a rectangle on the back here. For this, I'm thinking I'm going to go 0.8 square. Again, sticks and dimensions 0.2. And I'm going to go slightly further over. I'm going to go 0.4 over. And then we're going to extrude that to 0.2. Then we go slightly smaller. Just drop that in. I'm going to drop one off of that. Again, that's not what I want. Just drop those profiles. The picture it looks like it's got like um, a pointed top where all the sides come in the triangles on them. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is we stick an offset plane from there, lift it up by 0.1, and we can draw on that plane. We can put a point in on the midpoint, finish the sketch, and then loft. From that play, uh, that's surface to the point, and then that will put in your triangular shape. There. So that's taken about 20 minutes or so to get to this point. I think I'm going to stop at this point and then uh, we'll come back and add some more details on some of the other stuff on a later episode. So I hope you've been able to follow along with that one, and uh, if you could do me a favour, please like and subscribe to the video. Thanks for watching.